Hello, friend. Hey, what's up? Well, I wanted to ask you if you could do me a favor. What happened? Look, today it's my son's birthday. Oh, wonderful. And look, I'm taking this to my son. He's going to love it? It's amazing? The truth is that, yes, this is very nice look, brother, but what happens is that I already have a little while watching you, that you're doing your balloons and all that, and you know that my son loves a lot this of balloons and clowns. Really? Yes, and look, I wanted to ask you a favor. Do you think you can go with him for a little while? Okay. But look, the detail is this, brother. What? I don't have any money. Well, it's complicated. I know, brother. But is it far from here? No, actually, it's a couple of blocks here. It's not too far. How many blocks? Well, about four blocks, brother. Ah, uh, it is very close, brother. Yes, let's go. If you want to pay me by giving me a soda, a hot dog, or whatever you are going to give to eat. Sure? Yes, no problem. But I don't have any money, brother. It's all right. Look, I'm here anyway. Hey, and since what time are you here? What time is it? It's about five o'clock since... Well, let's say since noon. Since noon? Yes, it's that... Just look where I've come to find him. Even if he's hiding from me. Oh, madam, how My have God, you been? My God, justice! Madam, how are you? Well, how do you think? I'm sorry, ma'am, but there hasn't been any work and I'm having a hard time. How am I going to pay my debts if you don't pay me? I'm skinny because I don't even eat anymore. Madam, good afternoon. How are you? How are you doing? Fine. I'm Jerry. Listen, what is happening with the boy? Well, a year ago, this young man came looking to rent a room in my house. We signed the contract and everything was fine, but it's been three months now. Let's see. Yes, well, I am not really from here. I am from Tamaulipas, so I came to look for a little more work. But at the beginning, everything was fine, but now... Things got complicated. What do you mean it got complicated? No, of course not. It is something that happens to all of us. No, not to me. I have always complied, even though I am a woman. In fact, that's why your wife left you. And maybe she cheated on you. The bad thing is that, don't you care about your children? Of course, ma'am. Well, what do I care, you know? Mrs. Look, have a little patience. Look, maybe he... No, no, I don't have patience. I don't have any. He is willing to pay you. Look. How are you going to negotiate? Well, let me, let's see what, if I pawn the phone or see what I can do. Well, but... even if he sells his underwear. Hey, lady. No, but look, I think he is willing to pay. You can see that he is a good person, but right now he doesn't have the money he to pay. He came in as a good person, but then look, he hasn't done his part. Well, it's only three months. I mean, right now I'll get over it these days. Here it's... No, no, I want it now. If not, I call the police. What's more, your things are already there at the door because I already have another tenant. Don't do that to me, Mom. Lady, look. How about if I can talk to you? No, what about you? I mean, no, I don't even know you. I want him to pay me. No, but look, please allow me to talk to you. No, I don't do negotiations because I don't know you. I want him to pay me. I'll talk to the patrol car. No, look, car. don't talk to the police. Look, please let me talk to you. Okay, let's go. Allow Let's me, brother. Go. I'll be right Let's back. Let's see if we can negotiate. Look, how much do we owe you? He owes me $200, but I'm going to charge him $300. $300? Look, take this one, please. Is it $300? Yes, look. Well, you know what? So as not to wear me out. And I don't even want to see him anymore. I'll take it. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Come on, have a nice day. Thank you. Brother, come, calm down. What happened there? Ah, uh, well, look, I apologize in advance, brother, because I didn't... I didn't think I was going to reach this lady here, I mean... I mean, but what? Did you owe her that, brother? Well, yes, but, well, as I tried to explain to her... Well, the situation got complicated right now. I tell you, I... I'm not from here, I'm from Tamaulipas, from there by... I don't know if you know Tampico. Yes, I do. Well, there is a municipality called Altamira. Uh, of course it is a port area. Yes, and that's where my mom lives, that's where she is. Is that, well, I did arrive and, well, everything was really cool, wasn't it? I did have a job and everything, but, well, it was, it was temporary. They fired us and I had to. There I made some friends, some friends, and they told me, well, go be a clown so I can ride on the trucks at the traffic lights so I can get some bucks. But right now, I've been doing this for a long time and I'm not getting any money. Hey, brother, and look, I don't want to sound nosy. But what did the lady say about your wife leaving you? 
Well, as I said, I mean, I came to look for better opportunities, but then from one moment to the next, everything changed. I mean, it happens to all of us. Of course. But she didn't. She didn't want to to put up with. She said, no, I've had enough. It's been many weeks, and I don't know what, that you don't do anything. And one day, just like that, she left. She took your children with her? Yes. I have, I have a four-year-old daughter and a one-year-old baby. And yes, she took them to... How hard it must be for you to carry this beautiful job and to carry so much suffering. And to have to put your face as happy as you want for the children, so they don't identify you as a sad person, brother. How do you do that? Uh, it's an occupational hazard, I mean, so many years, and then, no, when you see the children, uh, the children see you as a superhero. I mean, they see you arriving at the party, they see you... Even here in the square, they see you and their faces light up. Well, that's what I was telling you, for example, my child adores clowns. But what touches me a lot, brother, is that in spite of what happened, obviously I don't want to bother you. I understand if you don't want to go with my child because I don't have any money. Don't worry about it. I mean, well look, this thing that happened, I knew it was going to happen. And it's not that I was hiding it, it's just that I was trying to leave a little earlier to, well, to get a little more money. And I was late, not because I wanted to, but because I was working late. But unfortunately, well, no, it didn't work out. I mean, I did make money, but not enough to pay the rent. I mean, I made very little and... Do you owe her a lot, brother? Well. Yeah, like, I mean, she even let me have the rent very cheap. She charged me about a $50 a month, more or less. Hey, and why did she say 300 Because she was very abusive. I mean, I was, I mean, I didn't get the full amount. But I was paying her, I tell you, for example, if today I took $20, I would give her 10 or 15 but she would tell me no. This is the tax I am charging you, but what do you mean tax? Yes, she said yes, because you are taking too long and you have to pay me my money. With her, it was always all expenses for things that she didn't even understand, the truth. And she fined me and said, you take so long, you owed me 500 and I will, but there is no job, how can I do it? Hey brother, and now what are you gonna do? Because it's getting dark and the lady said that she had already thrown your stuff out on the street. You live too far from here? No, the apartments are near here. Do you have a lot of stuff or...? More or less. I mean, the stove and the living room, well, they were hers because that's where she... she gave them to me. But then, the clothes and the shoes, well, more or less. I'd better get some... some two bundles there that... I think they should be put together, I think. Hey, brother. Look, in spite of everything that is happening to you, you have the good heart to want to help even when you are in a very difficult situation. About your wife, I am very sorry that she has had to leave and you have not talked to your children? No, well, she won't let me, no. I, I mean, she left there with, well, with my in-laws or ex-in-laws, I don't even know. I tried to dial them, but he blocks my calls. But do you have a way to reach her? I mean, you know where she lives? I guess you say she is with your father-in-law? Yes, but my in-laws are something special. So look, since they met me, they didn't like me. So if I stand up, they'll throw me out. But you're not doing anything wrong? Why don't you go and look for your wife? No, I don't have any money either, you know? She is also there in Altamira? No, she, well, I'm from there. My mom lives there, but she's from here. This, from here, from, from Nuevo Leon, and, but she lives in a municipality, if it's far away from here. Okay, I see, brother. I mean, if I had the money, I would go, but frankly... Well, look, what do you think right now to pass this bad time? Let's go eat a hot dog there with my boy. And look, without commitment, there is no need for you to give a show or anything. What I want is for you to have a nice time, have a soda and a hot dog, and then we'll see what's up. Okay, sure, let's go. Perfect, brother, let's go then. Hey, but what are we doing here, brother? 
look, brother, eh? The truth is that everything that happened... Uh, first of all, I want to thank you. I didn't even ask your name. I only heard that the lady called you Charlie. Oh, yes, by golly. I'm tired of hearing my name already. That's your name, brother? Charlie? That's right, Charlie. Nice to meet you. My name is Jerry, bro. Ah, uh, nice to meet you, and... And what a shame it was under these circumstances, I mean... No, no, don't worry. Look, the truth is, I want to thank you first. Oh, for what? Well, for that heart that you have, brother, and... Uh, as I say to you... I don't understand, brother. I still don't get it. I still don't understand. How a person that carries, with all due respect, a sadness, a depression and anguish inside, have that positive attitude of going out to cheer up hearts. Well... Jeez, look, eh, Well, look, I've been doing this for so many years now, so... It has happened to me more times than I can already count. And then you get used to it. You get used to it, and then... Under this mask, well... It's... A little easy, mind hey, you. Brother, I mean, people don't know me. And do you really love your profession? Pretty much, I mean... I'm on my way to... It was... About 15 years. 15 years? Well, brother, look. What I was telling you about my son's party and all that. Hey, if it's true, we didn't even go. Let me tell you the truth. I don't have any party. What? My son is not having a birthday right now. He's doing just fine. Actually, what I'm doing, brother, is an experiment. Ah, but... But how is it an experiment? I mean, your child doesn't have a birthday then? Eh, hey, not now, eh, hey, look. I'm doing a social experiment. But of what? Well, look, practically it's to look for people like you. Oh my gosh, clowns or what? No, 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 not really. I mean, I'm not referring to clowns. I mean, people like you who are going through a very difficult situation, brother. Or who are going through some kind of injustice. Look, what the lady told me, she told us that there were 300, then she said four, and... Don't even remind me about that lady. It's a good thing it happened to me. I mean, I mean, it's not that I am grateful, but I mean, she did go too far at times. Look, brother, this little truck I used to take to my son. I want you to take it so that you can remember me. I want you to keep it... Look, anyway, when you go to see your son, take it to him. Because what this truck carries, brother, I know that it will help you to have some emotional stability. Look, well, look, I don't know. Until when do I get them back? Well, let's see. Well, if tomorrow, the day after, in a year, I don't know. But I think my son will like it. Take it, brother. Accept it. Take it, that little truck. I give it to you with all my love because I know that what that truck brings will give you a little economic stability. Ah, jeez, what is... What does it say there, brother? Four thousand dollars, but... What do you imagine when you hear 4,000? Well, seeing the sign here, well... But I don't think this little truck is worth four. Oh, don't mention it. No, no. No, no, brother, I mean, no! No, you're playing, huh? No, of course not, bro. Yeah, that's gotta be a joke, I mean, because... Who is gonna give you this amount? I'm gonna give it to you, bro. No, bro, look, don't worry, I mean, it will... Something good will come out of it, I mean... This is something good. God sent it to you. Yes, but it's too much. Brother, never say you don't deserve it. Never say it's too much. It's what you deserve, brother. That and more. In fact, I will support you. Hey, no, but you also gave the lady about the rent, I mean... Because I heard you, don't right? Worry. I mean, but, well... And then you, brother? Brother, look. I dedicate myself to this. Fortunately, I'm doing very well. And it's a way to thank God. Look, please take it. Take it, brother. Okay, but it's too much. I mean, with less I can... No, brother. Take that money. Look, go and settle things with your wife. If you don't have an arrangement with her, well, at least what you need for your kids. Well, I do miss them a lot, to tell you the truth. I also wanted to... In fact, I was raising money to... Well, to go to see my mom. I mean, I hadn't seen her for a long time this year, and... Well, I think that with this, well, I even have enough to, to lend a hand. Brother, you are going to be great. You remember me. You're going to get ahead, and soon I'll see you on TV. You'll see. 
Give it your best, brother. You are not alone. Forgive me. Don't worry, brother. I want to see Charlie the Clown all over the place tomorrow. Thank you very much. And you'll see that, well, God will multiply it for you. Thank you very much for your wishes, bro. Well, I don't know what to say. I mean, thank you very much. Wow, I mean, I don't... I don't know how to assimilate it. I mean, wow, something like this has never happened to me before. Oh, thank you very much, my God. Now I will be able to see my mother and, well, to settle things with my wife. Thank you very much. May God multiply it to you and bless you always. Thank you, brother, for being who you are. Thank you very much, my friend. Oh, thank you, my God. Thank you very much.